Alright friends, today we'll be adding post-processing to our newly created map in Unity. This is actually much simpler than it was before. Before you had to import all kind of stuff and, and do a lot of different things. Just to mention, if you do go import the post-processing uh, package, this is the old one, it doesn't work with URP. Just so you know, so don't import anything. And if you've already imported it, just search for post-processing in the Unity registry and click remove. The way to do it now is just to add a empty object here in the scene that I will call post-processing. And quite simply, just add a volume. You can see I already searched for it, but just add a volume. Make sure it's global. Local volumes need a collider, so you would need a box collider. Um, and then the post-processing would only work inside of this box collider that you made. Maybe that's something you want to do. Well, you would scale it up and stuff. Uh, but I want post-processing to work on, work on my whole map, so I'll remove that and just set it to global automatically works everywhere and then you need a uh, profile here this is where all your post processing is gonna go and click new and if you double click it you can see it create well it created a sample scene way before but uh, it's stored right there and you can add uh, the overrides or the effects here or you can just add them from here I'll go from here uh, first let's add a uh, vignette, vignette, vignette I'm not sure how that's called just click all and change the intensity and you can see it starts adding some uh, effects if it doesn't do that there's a couple settings you might want to check first off you might want to go to your camera and make sure that the post processing is enabled here right there also uh, if you can't see it in scene view you should probably go here and check post processing right there and I think those are all the settings for now I might be wrong, but if I think of any other ones, I'll tell you. Okay, so just play around with the values, see what you like. You can see this in game view as well, so it might be better doing it there. I just want to add a very light, maybe like a 0 0.45 uh, vignette around it, so it looks a bit better. I won't play around with any other values. Now I will add some bloom, but currently it doesn't work, so if we maybe if we add a light quick point light you can see that bloom will make lights more blurry I don't know how to explain it better uh, we can add this currently we don't have any lights in the scene I just added a random point light uh, but I would like to add maybe 0 0.5 just so we have a small difference between lights I think kind of makes it look more cinematic but for now let's just delete the point light and we'll take care of that later you can add motion blur if you want. I don't like motion blur, so I'm not going to be adding that. I'm going to add some depth of field, and this one is kind of hard to uh, debug, but we'll go to Gaussian. And obviously this is this starts way too early, but maybe I'll do so it kind of fades out the mountains. So start at 30, uh, maybe 28, and then ends in let's say 35. And if we just quickly hop into the scene just to see if this works well, if it doesn't, I'll remove it. You can see it's blurring the mountains, and when we get closer, it's fine. Since I'm going for a deserty look, uh, I think blurring out some of the back detail kind of works. Because it's hot, and then, you know, I kind of like it, yeah. Now, before I do any color changes here, I want to also change some settings. So for my uh, desert scene, I want it to be kind of nighttime. I feel I feel like that's gonna work better uh, that way. So I'll just go to my directional right light and I'll rotate it around the x-axis till I get something like this. And also I'll change the color to a dark bluish color, something like that. Now obviously this is way too dark, so we'll just, we might just go exactly as daytime and then just change the intensity to like 0 0.5. Also you can go to window, 
rendering and lighting to change some of the lighting settings. You can add that fog that we disabled before. I will. I'll just make it a bit darker here so it's not so upfront. I'll go about there. And density you can change the lower you go obviously the farther away it's gonna be. If I set that to 1 you can see it's gonna blur everything out. I'll just add some lightly in the distance. Maybe we have some just so we do. By the way this is in the environment tab. I will not be touching the other two. And you can uh, change the environment lighting source to maybe just a single color. I don't like the default skybox. I feel like it's kind of stupid. So I'll go to a bit of a darker blue maybe. Maybe a bit of a lighter blue as well. This will change it so the lighting is not coming from the uh, skybox. Well it still is but the skybox currently is just a color. And you can also change the, you can go to the skybox material here and change some values as well. You could do it that way, I don't like it that way, so I'll just keep it like this. Now if we play, well we have a really sunny moon. <laughs> Let's say that's the zombie moon. Yeah, I like it much more this way. Uh, it's kind of more spooky and it's good. Maybe this is not completely nighttime. This is probably like it's dawn. Okay, it's close to the sunrise. And in the post processing volume, uh, now I can add maybe some color adjustments. Okay, and change, just play around with the values. You can see this makes it brighter. So I might just go minus 0 0.35. You can change the contrast to make the scene even darker. I'll go with a very light contrast, maybe like 10 just so it's a bit deeper. Obviously we don't want to play around with the hue shift and saturation. You can play around with this will make it more grayish. I'll just set that to zero. Obviously there's a bunch of uh, effects that you can add. I don't think I'll be adding anything else. Maybe shadows, midtones and highlights. Just click all and then you can play around with the colors of those. Yeah, just play around with it, see what you like. I kind of like my scene already. This is pretty much all I wanted from it, just make it dark. And you can't really see the depth of field now. That's fine. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, you can play around with the settings, see what you like. I might play around this with this off camera, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, and I think that's it for today. Okay now, bye-bye.